you love a good morning. It's another beautiful day in New Mexico. Hang with Benny. Benny, who's coming home today? Addy. Yeah. Well, I guess tomorrow, huh? Mom's going to pick her up. So it'll be a boys' night here. So I hope that you are all well today. Uh, I want to spend a few minutes dwelling in God's Word together uh, with our Christ in our home. So if you have it there and you want to read along, spend some time together here in devotion, uh, it'll be good to be together. Um, for your prayer life, Max's surgery uh, was successful and he's recovering up there in Denver. So thanks for your continued prayers. Uh, I know the Simics appreciate it as well. Uh, yes, Karen, we're feeling well. Uh, got a little little run c safely and carefully together. Pizza, yeah. We actually, Benny got bagel bites for tonight, <laughs> Pastor Heike. So <laughs> you're not far off on that. Oh, big time. All right. Our, our invitation to uh, dwell in God's Word today uh, invites our focus to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. Uh, in verse starting in verse 14 so I'll invite you there um, to 28 all right and read along if you'd like or just uh, listen in devotion this morning now Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute when the demon had gone out the one who had been mute spoke and the crowds were amazed but some of them said he casts out demons by Beelzebul the ruler of demons Others, to test him, kept demanding from him a sign from heaven. But he knew that they were thinking what they were thinking, and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert, and house falls on house. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. Now, if I cast out the demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his castle, his property is safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirits have gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place. But not finding any, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. Then it comes, it finds it swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. While he was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breasts that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. So there you hear echoes of the gospel reading from Sunday here in Luke with a, a bit more imagination and uh, uh, things to consider. A Kingdom Divided is the title of our devotion from Christ in Our Home. If you have it there and would like to read along, please be invited to. It invites our focus to the 17th verse of that 11th chapter of Luke. Every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert, and a house falls on house. <clears throat> Besides equipping people with the instant ability to win an argument with an obscure fact found online, an unintended consequence of the internet and social media is a documented increase in polarization among people. Like propaganda leaflets dropped in 20th century wars, an insidious dropping of false information does damage to us as a society. Why? A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Of course, we will never be totally unified when it comes to political opinion, or any opinion for that matter. But if we are united in God's love, should the rest matter as much? If we fully focus on mutual love and concern for the common good, misfortune disseminated through misinformation disseminated through cyberspace and otherwise will fall on deaf ears. No difference of opinion is more powerful than the strength of God's love. Let us seek to live as God's children and to see the rest of humanity through the eyes of the creator of us all. Invitation to pray this morning together. Gracious God, when we struggle to find common good ground, unite us in your love. Amen.
And as this day unfolds before you, uh, be invited to pray for those working to address climate change issues. Uh, and God bless you as you look at the world through the eyes of God today, um, a good place in which to uh, engage the world. Uh, God bless you, beloved, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning.